Hey guys, so we're just checking in with our little update. So I think we left off, David was about to go camping. Is that yes. true? I did, I did some hiking. It was great to just get out in nature and um, just experience God's presence, just solitude and prayer and worship. And uh, it was really refreshing. It was really challenging. And uh, I'm really grateful that Melinda let me get away to have that time. You got a little bit of time for solitude too, right? Silence and solitude. Yeah, well my homework was like one hour, so I woke up early one morning and it was actually really good though because it was after a weekend that was um, pretty tough. I don't know why, it just felt very dark and kind of discouraged and lonely and I feel like it was really a catalyst for me to um, just experience God and the Holy Spirit and I felt like there was a lot of freedom after that and just a lot more hope. So that was kind of cool. Solomon's birthday was yesterday, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we got to go out and have a, a little date, Chuck E. Cheese, hit up some games, uh, we did a movie, which he got scared halfway through when we left. Uh, he was already warning Annabelle, he's like, Annabelle, there's a big monster in it! <laughs> I don't think you're gonna like it! <laughs> it's Incredibles too. it's not like that intense, but he's four now, so, prayer requests? Um, yeah, I think for me, something that Dave and I have both been talking about is there are so many ministry opportunities here and we don't want to just sit on the sidelines for this next time of our lives. We really want to seek the Lord on how he wants to use us here in Kentucky to be a blessing to those who are around us and to our community and to our church. So, yeah. Well, and I think along those lines is just continuing to pray for um, just the relational piece of moving to a new state and a new city. Relationships take time and we were just talking uh, even on campus um, I think I had these expectations that it was gonna be Like how I imagined my undergraduate time was this and the fact is like we're seminary students We have families and a lot of people have multiple jobs and adjusting those expectations and and you know just continue praying as we build and and uh, get to know people and start having those deeper relationships that are more than just uh, you know surface God has like he's already answering that prayer in so many ways we've had different people over to our homes this last couple weeks um, that and many other times in ways people have been reaching out to us and just being so intentional to connect with us and we're so thankful for that guys thanks for coming along this journey with us um, we so appreciate everybody that's supporting us both in Miami and here in Kentucky uh, both with your prayers and just being here for us so uh, hope to talk to you again soon and uh, enjoy the little slideshow coming up. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. So I'm here at the Hoosier National Forest. I had um, planned to park down that way, but apparently the trail that I chose is closed. So instead of this short approach trail, I'm going to have to go the long way. So I'm excited. It's really nice out. Not a cloud in the sky, beautiful, sunny, warm. Oh, looking forward to a little time alone. I'm gonna turn this thing off and uh, disappear. to watch. I just really want to do it. Yeah, maybe we get home we can do it too. Monica and Corey came up to visit CJ, so it's 6.30 in the morning. 
<laughs> it's pitch dark outside. And Annika and I are meeting up to do a little workout together and hang out. And I'm so excited. So I told her to meet us at Cherokee Park. It's a huge park. But there's like no lights here. So I also wanted to share that God really answered our prayers and a friend of ours is letting me borrow his old iPhone that's unlocked. So I was able to put my SIM card in it and I'm mailing out my old cell phone to hopefully get fixed. But at least until then, I'll have this phone for the next week or two. So I am so incredibly thankful. I'm gonna start with an introduction and then Annika is gonna <laughs> briefly explain. <laughs> We just talked about our life's problem. <laughs> Got eaten alive by mosquitoes. Oh my gosh. But Mindy is bug bomb. So <laughs> we're good. It didn't even work. It did nothing. It did, not, it did nothing. <laughs> the mosquitoes good. are like. Mm -mm. nice. So we're going to have Annika and Corey. Is CJ coming? Anyways, we're going to have them over for brunch. So you'll see them again. But I got to spend time just with Annika. And. We enjoyed the conversation and solved all of our life's problems. So mm -hmm. we're good. Good to go. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Bye. Sometimes you just gotta have a big delicious breakfast and some good good fellowship. I didn't even record one second of it because I was just taking it all in and stirring it up in my heart and enjoying every second. So thank you, Corey and Annika and Cheryl for for coming and having lunch with us. Thank you, CJ, for coming and sharing them. And um, we just had a great time. So it's been a good Saturday. <laughs> was your morning great or bad? <laughs> was our morning good or bad? Good. Good? Why was it good? Because we got to eat and I was hungry. Because <laughs> we got to eat and you were hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <Good answer. laughs> you know it was a good time when there's a lot of dirty dishes, a good amount of leftovers, and a whole lot of bacon grease. <laughs> so Mary Jane fell and busted yeah. both of her knees. Oh, Mary, when was it? On Saturday? Uh, yeah, I didn't bust this one. This one was just like a tiny <laughs> So this is what's kind of crazy about the situation. Yesterday, we had over at our house um, a couple who we just happened to invite a week or two ago from church. The wife is actually an ICU nurse. And she literally gave me her number and was like, listen, if you guys ever have anything happen, let me know and I'll tell you which hospital to go to and which one you're gonna get the best care for from, depending on like what happened. If it was like a car accident, if it's heart condition, if it's bone condition. And I just texted her this morning, told her the situation, and she suggested um, a hospital for us to go to. And then the other thing is that David and I were supposed to go on a date this morning. So we already have a babysitter lined up. So all that to say, our first trip to the hospital. So they said it, it doesn't um, look like a big break, but there might be some. They're not sure. So they say give it a couple days and they'll x-ray it again and see if there's like healing or something. I don't know. I did a little homework. I did some homework. And so, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Starbucks so that we have something special, right? Okay, <laughs> happy Monday. Last week we had fall reading week, which was nice. It was just a nice change of pace. We didn't have any classes and there was a little bit, um, it was just a little slower. I started my second semester of classes, which was discipleship two. And then Thursday evenings, I'll be doing a class called biblical parenting. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but it just, 
Taking that week off made me appreciate even more this opportunity to take classes as a seminary wife because um, I'm not a part of a homeschooling co-op right now. We're not doing a lot socially and it's an opportunity for me to get out of the house but also to be fed spiritually in a really intense deep way and to interact with other seminary wives even to be able to take classes with my husband it might sound silly but like we both have homework assignments we both have reading assignments and obviously mine is not nearly the load that his is but it still gives me um, an understanding of what he's going through in a different way it's just cool to be able to kind of have some similar experiences in taking these classes You don't know Ressi and Matt. Well, Ressi came to Palm Vista for years. 15. And 15 years. I, I still remember being in like youth group and singles <laughs> and her. <laughs> 15 years. How old were you then? I 15 years ago I was 15. Oh wow. Hold yeah. On. Wow, okay. So she was such an influence in my life and then Matt came along and they got married and um, we ran into them today. We didn't even know they were gonna be here. So yeah. what was your experience here at Southern like? It's been great. Uh, we have uh, been asking questions. We've been listening to people say amazing things about uh, the, the school. And, and we're excited for David and Mindy. Yeah, and yeah. This yeah. Day. Great beard. Uh, yeah. Great beard. <laughs> yeah. And the four kids swimming in the in yeah, that swimming pool. Yeah. It's yeah, been great to you. catch up with them and just run into fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. It's Amen. so encouraging. Thank, Thank you. you guys so much. Thanks, Thanks, here. Thanks for being on our blog. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Okay, so here's a funny joke. We're here for a follow-up appointment for MJ's knee. We went to the wrong, first we went to the wrong hospital, then we went to the wrong building. The lady's like, the lady's like, well, it's not that cold outside. It's just three buildings down. I'm sure you can walk there. It's a beautiful day. So it looks like she's going to need a full leg cast, which is fine, at least it's not surgery, like we're so thankful for that. The issue is, today, it finally got like really cold. It's 100% 100% cold. <laughs> so we got to come up with some creative ways to keep one of her legs warm because we can't put pants on <laughs> because <laughs> there'll be a big cast on one of her legs. Yeah. How does she get two casts? One on that leg and one on that leg. But she doesn't need a cast for the other leg. Yes, she does. It's not broken. <laughs> yes, it is. Why are we making a fire? Because it's super cold. Oh my goodness. It's so, so pretty. What should we do now, Annabelle? Get hot cocoa and cereal. My shoulders are going. <laughs> I need to get a selfie stick legit like I'm doing breathing exercises because yeah. my shoulders are so sore <laughs> holding up a camera that long <laughs> oh also winter is coming no oh, it's coming it's here <laughs> pray for uh, sweaters to just fall from the sky <laughs> big jackets <laughs> I don't think I've ever worn a hoodie and felt like still cold with a hoodie on. <laughs> <laughs> but as someone did point out, the bugs are starting to die, which is, oh, I am so glad about that. 
Yeah, as long as we don't die too. <laughs> when we were outside before, you would have heard like, bah! because the bugs were so loud and they would have been eating us. Stinking bugs. I've never been so mad at a bug in my life. <laughs> Kentucky has the worst bugs. <laughs> I think I'm a city girl. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>